Happy Mess Monday. Actually, it's Sunday, but I'm having a procedure tomorrow morning. Another one of those EGDs where they go down and scope a look and see if they fixed whatever was wrong last time. <laughs> I'm doing a honey cream bubble mask. I always think that bubble masks are fun because they look like you've got some kind of weird disease or something with your bubbles all over your face. <laughs> open. Oh, I have scissors here. That would help. Alrighty. It's just goo. Got a bunch of eye masks those little half moon things i don't know why i never use them i need to because i don't put this under my eyes so i need to put one of those under my eyes maybe next time i just washed my hair so hopefully i don't get too much of this mask in my hair since i just washed it what makes this bubble up but it's already starting to bubble up all right I've got goo all over my hands I think this is a 15 minute one don't really have anything planned so we'll see what I can I have one little thing planned but it's not going to take 15 minutes so We'll figure out what else we can do for the rest of the 15 minutes. You know me, I can chit chat with the best of them, so I can probably fill 15 minutes pretty easy. Alrighty, I have a Heaven Panty, and the, this little thing right here is always see-through, so you can see what color you're getting, which I think is kind of cool. I already peeked at this one. I like it because it is... Um, Kind of a full size brief, not one of those little teeny -y looking things. It's really a very pretty color. It's got roses on it. It's kind of a creamy, maybe a yellowy creamy color, but it's it's nice and full size. Just the lace is only in the front, not the back. But these roses are beautiful, aren't they? Very pretty. Let's see, there you go. That feels pretty. So I don't know how I managed it, but Heaven Panty emailed me and asked if they could just start sending them to me to review for free. And I'm sure. <laughs> I laughed and bubbles flew. <laughs> Definitely a bubble mask. It's bubbling up. It looks like it looks like when you were a little kid and you took a bubble bath, did you make like a soap mustache and a soap beard. That's kind of how this looks. It's very tickly because of the bubbles. It's tickling me like right around here, sides of my nose. <laughs> uh, very tickly, I don't know why. It's only that one spot like right around my nose and upper lip, it's tick tick tickly. <laughs> Oh, what else can we talk about? I have several things going on. If you've been watching, you probably know. Um, if you're new to this channel, go back and look because I have two, well, three giveaways really. Um, I have a collab with several other ladies and would some of us are doing little mini giveaways. Mine's not so many, but Little, little little mini giveaway and well chipped in and there's a grand prize of a hundred dollars and the hundred the grand prize can be international because we can get you some kind of gift card that works in your country um or paypal or whatever works for you um but my little small gift is 
continental U.S. only. Um, and my other thing is because of the collab, that's why I'm all about, I do collabs all the time. I never got invited to them, so I just decided nobody's inviting me to them. I'm just going to start them myself and invite other people. So if you're ever interested in doing a collab, I usually do one every month or two. It helps your channel grow because like this one's got eight people. So the eight, seven other channels' people are watching you. So you can pick up a few new subscribers almost every time you do a collab. So it kind of helps your channel grow a little faster. So this one was um, Shop Miss A. And what we did was we did a kind of a round robin where we would send to the person below us and we would went on shop miss a and if you don't know what shop miss a is it's a channel that's got makeup and hair stuff and even some like socks and headbands and skincare masks i think i got this mask from there and almost everything's a dollar so you can't beat that so what we did was we each sent the person that we got their name, $10 worth of stuff, and then somebody said, that's $10 worth of stuff. It doesn't sound like very much $10, but if you go back and watch my video, you see how much I got from my person. Uh, Andrea Megan sent me mine. See how much goodies she got for 10 bucks. You can get quite a bit for 10 bucks. So that was the, the collab we did this month. I've got one in the back of my head I'm thinking about, and it would be another easy to do one. You wouldn't have to do a lot of shipping and stuff, but I'm still figuring out how I want to do it in my head, but I'll bring it out in the next week or two. So if you're interested in trying out a collab, watch for that one, and we'd be happy to have you join us. And then because of that Shop Miss A collab in the other channels and the $100 grand prize, I'm sure didn't hurt. Um, I got enough new subscribers where I reached the 400 mark. I've been meaning and trying to do that for quite a while. I don't know what YouTube's deal is. I got to 394, no, 396, like about a month or six weeks ago. And then all of a sudden, boom, I was back in the 380s. They just randomly take people away from you. I don't get it. I mean, they're trying to... Make sure they're real people and not like bots or whatever. But, you know, I've had them kick me off of channels that I watch all the time or drop me down from, you know, how you got the little bell where you watch it all the time or the little bell where you you don't get notified all the time. And I'll drop down from being notified to not being notified. And I didn't change that. YouTube did. So I don't know why they do that. I don't understand it. Nobody else understands it either. But anyway, I finally got to 400. So the other giveaway I've got is in its this big old box. Peek. It's um 400 subscriber giveaway. So that big old box is going to somebody. So go back and watch that video too. So just on my channel alone, there's three ways to win. The one, the grand prize, since there's eight of us, what we're each going to do is we're going to pick one grand prize winner, but you don't win, you just get put in the pot to win. So we're each going to have one person from our channel. So there'll be eight people, and then I'll put those in hat and draw a name out of, like Susie has Mary on her channel as her grand prize person, and I have Josie and, you know, that kind of thing where there'll be each person will have one name that they'll pick with the random comment picker. And then we'll take all eight of those names and, and then pick one more time for the grand prize. So once you're in that, once you get picked on a channel, you've got a one in eight chance of winning a hundred dollars. And probably about half of those eight channels are doing side giveaways too. So there's lots of chances to win floating around here. <laughs> so I hope that you, oh, I've got that Santa beard that we did when we were little kids. The bubbles, you know, you put like a little beard. Got more up here than anywhere, I don't know why. <laughs> um, let's see, I had my family get together finally. I 
hadn't seen my other son and his wife and their two daughters in quite a while. I live with one son and and his wife and their daughter and son. I've lived with them for a long time, 10, more than 10 years, like 12, 13 years. But the other ones I don't see as much. They live about, hmm, about two hour drive away. And I don't drive that good anymore since I've got vision issues. So I don't see them as often. So it was great. They came over and we had, we built some fajitas and we swam and had a good old time. So I hope to maybe do that again one more time in the, this summer. But it was so hard finding with, it's basically all adults. I mean, the youngest one's almost 16. So basically all adults with their schedules and their jobs and their this and their school and their, uh, you know, it was just almost impossible to get all nine of us together. In fact, we didn't. I, I thought I had it pinned down for all nine of us. And then my grandson got invited on a trip with some of his friends to the beach. One of his friend's parents has taken him plus a couple extra boys. Um, so he ended up not being there today, but you know, I, I, I tried to get everybody. It's just too hard with that many people. Those of you who have grown kids and grown grandkids and stuff, you know how hard it is to pin everybody down and get everybody to come at the same time. But those of us who were there had fun. <laughs> um, and they went, they left a little early because they want to go. My, my son that lives, doesn't, I don't live with my other son. The one that he's a firefighter. Um, they, his wife's family has, her cousin is in a movie that's coming out. It came, came out in Texas this week and it's coming out in the rest of the country next week. And I recommend you go see it. It's called 12 Mighty Orphans. And it's set back maybe in the 30s or 40s. And it's an orphanage in Texas near where my son lives. And they started a, a football team for the, orphan boys and it's the story of that and how it you know built character and you know one of those kind of feel good football -y movies which we have a lot of those in Texas a lot of football stuff and so her cousin is one of the 12 mighty orphans number his football jersey number is number one so so go watch that movie support it it's supposed to be a really great movie it, it should be in, in in a theater near you starting next week it, it because it's based in Texas, it's total Texas thing. Football's really big in Texas. It's the orphanage is in Texas. It's a true story and all that. So they released it a week early in Texas, and then then they um, it goes out in the rest of the rest of the country next week. So I'm almost at 15 minutes. Um, what else? What else? I have a boxy charm. I thought I had canceled it, but I got a box anyway, so I guess I'll keep it. But um, I'm gonna go try and cancel it again because I don't really need boxy charm and ice cream. If you don't know what ice cream is, it's similar to boxy charm, about the same price. I think it's twenty one dollars plus shipping, so it ends up. I think the shipping's like. Eight ninety five or something, so it ends up just under thirty dollars. But so it's I like it because it's all makeup. Once in a great while I get a skincare thing, but it's almost all makeup, and um, you always get like a big full size palette, not one of those little bitty ones, but like a big palette. So if you're looking to get some new palettes, ice cream's the way to go. So I figured I don't need BoxyCharm and ice cream. So I canceled, I thought I canceled BoxyCharm. I canceled a few things. I, um, I, at least I tried. It's, I'm having trouble canceling stuff. They, they make it so hard to cancel things. Um, since I'm getting this Heavenly Panty Free, I was doing Splendies, but why pay for those when I'm getting the heavy Heaven Panty Free? So I don't um, really need the Splendies, so I'm attempting to cancel that one too, but I'm not being too successful. And then I also got a sip spy for a couple months, but eh, I mean, I love tea and all that, but it's basically $16 for 
16 tea bags or 16 servings. And I think that's a little high. There's another one that's out of Canada that um, I heard about them. Uh, and um, I emailed them to see if they would maybe send me a sample box. And there on their website, it's like $21, but I think you get 30 or 40 cups of tea out of it. So that's a little bit better deal. So we'll see if they'll, I just emailed them today. We'll see if they send me a free box. That'd be great. It doesn't hurt to try. I mean, it's all I can say is no. And I didn't, sometimes you just never know. I didn't even, um, I didn't even ask Heaven Panty. They asked me. And I just got a uh, Instagram request from some hair care product person you know, company that I've heard of. And I'm like, maybe I should accept their friend request. Maybe they want to, you know, send me something free. <laughs> so why not try it? Oh, this is so sticky. It doesn't just wash off if my hands are sticky too. <laughs> um, yeah, that didn't work too good. It's The paper towels did, didn't quite get it off. I'm going to have to go actually wash my face get this stuff off because it's pretty sticky but i think once it's unsticky it'll feel feel real nice this honey honey cream bubble mask is what it was by s-o-o-a-e sounds korean well, it says new york huh and that looked like that was, should be a Korean company, but it says underneath it in little bitty print, it says New York. Well, um, I also have coming up, I don't know when it's going to get here. It's, they, they charged me for both of these, and I haven't got either one yet. Uh, Wee Blessings and a um, Luxury Diva. Luxury Diva shipped on the 4th, and today's the... 13th I think so and it's in Texas I think it ships from so I don't know what's the deal with the luxury diva one I didn't get it yet and it's been almost two weeks so I don't know and the wee blessings the same thing they charged me for it like three weeks ago and I still haven't got it I don't know the post office gets a little well because what they do and I think that makes it worse is like I think which is a Wee Blessings or Luxury Diva, one of the two of those. They ship at DHL, which I've always found is terrible. So I used to be the one to handle the sh shipping and stuff with the company I worked at, so I knew how they performed, and I always thought DHL was not very good as far as getting stuff on time and so on. And they send it DHL or FedEx, and then it goes to the post office after that. So it's kind of got two layers of um, shipping before you get it. And I think that's why it takes so long. Uh, my nice clean hair just got stuck to this goo on my, on my face. Um, so anyway, those two should be coming too. So I will do the, probably tomorrow sometime, I will do the boxy charm and then... Whenever I get those other two, I'll do them. I got a, I did a, a Dia & Co. like a few months ago, and they said they were sending me another one, and I didn't really want them to. I just wanted a kind of a one-time only deal, and I guess they think I'm going to get it every three months. So I went on there and pushed it out another three months, and I'll just keep pushing it out because I may just cancel it totally because I'm, Never real happy with DN Co. It was the only game in town when I first started doing subscription boxes. They were the only ones that had plus sizes. Nobody else did yet. Even Stitch Fix didn't have plus sizes way back when, when I first started doing it. But since then, I found other companies I like better. So I think DN Co is expensive and I don't like the stuff. It's mostly like solids, dark colors and stuff. And, you know, me, I like bright printy stuff and so D and Co's just it looks really good on other people it's just not me you know what I mean so anyway it's been 20 minutes you're probably sick of listening to me so I will let you go 
and it's Sunday night. Well, Monday morning when you watch this. So have a wonderful week. Those of you who are working and those of you who are retired by, like me, have a wonderful week too, because it's easier for us to have a wonderful week because we don't have to work. <laughs> I will talk to you all again real soon. And if you haven't entered any of that stuff I was talking about, go back and enter it. Talk to you soon. Oh, and I will put a link to Kevin Panty because, I, let me think, it's um, how much it is. One thing about it that I didn't tell you, they, um, they have three ways you can get 50% off. You can get 50% off if you leave a review on Facebook, 50% off if you share a photo, and 50% off if you complete their customer satisfaction survey. So you can get up to 150% off. I don't know how that works, but you can get stuff for basically free if, if you're willing to do those extra things. I think it's for two pairs. I think it's plus two plus size pairs. I think it's Around $14 for one pair, I think it's like eight-ish dollars, which isn't bad for a quality pair of, pair of undies. This is really cute. It's got, this little bow's got like a little jewel hanging down from the bow. <laughs> and the roses on it are gorgeous. So I will put a link to the Heaven, Heaven panties for you down below and go check them out. You'll be very pleased with them. I never been disappointed in anything I got from them. Sometimes they're a little, like, I like this design better with a full brief. And sometimes they'll send me one with, you know, when you're a plus size, you don't want those ones that come like halfway down your belly. You want them to come all the way up because they just don't work as good with big tummies. <laughs> but I think they kind of realized that and they started sending me the full brief. So that's, that's working good. So go give them a try. Love y'all. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Love to have you. I do all kinds of unboxings and Mass Mondays. And on Wednesdays, I do a Wacky Wednesday with me and my little minion friend and his teddy bear. There's his teddy bear. And Fridays, I do either Fun Facts Friday or Fabulous Friends Friday. Or I do shout outs. I vary between the two. I have an idea for another thing, but I'm still, it's still cooking in the old noggin. So I may come out with something new in a couple of weeks. I'm running through some ideas through my head and I'm also running an idea through my head for another collab. So keep your eye out for that one. And if you want to join us, you're more than welcome. Yeah, I'm more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. The last collab I did before these was 13 of us, so, and almost every single one of us got at least 40 new subscribers. So it's well worth having, this time it wasn't as many because there wasn't many of us, but we still, it, it still helps your channel grow. So if you haven't done a collab, give it a try. You'll like it. It's fun. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.